hours before part of our team coverage. Eric? Well, Karen, one of the searches was here at the family's home along North Lister. It was unlike many of the other searches that we've seen in the nearly two weeks since baby Lisa went missing. Now, Chopper 5 was high above the scene. Around 11 o'clock today, police blocked off the 3600 block of North Lister. That's where baby Lisa's home is located. It's where her family says she was kidnapped from that home in the early hours of October 4th. FBI agents moved in today with a search dog to look inside baby Lisa his home and the next door neighbor's home. Earlier, we got an update from FBI spokesperson Bridget Patton. They are clearing the area to eliminate this area as having any additional tips or clues or any type of leads that can move us forward in this investigation. In this situation, however, the dogs actually do have, a, we do have consent for the dogs to go in the house, so it's one more step in moving this investigation along. At the same time, and a few blocks to the south, over in the 3700 block of North Jackson, FBI agents, police, and the Kansas City, Missouri Water Department were searching a creek bed. The Water Department was there to help drain the creek to aid in the search efforts. That search lasted well into the afternoon. Earlier, the first search of the day was over at a Irwin relative's home. Uh, more investigators were at that address on Waldron uh, searching the property. Now, police moved all of the cameras back. It was very hard to see what they were looking at at that home. We did see, though, the family's New York spokesperson there at the time police were combing the home. Investigators tell us there were no new tips that took them to those three addresses, just sites in the area or ones that they wanted to double check. Now, at last check, investigators have not shared any new information that they might have found at those three addresses. That's the very latest outside the family's home here in the Northland. Eric Shalou, KCTV 5 News. Eric, thank you. And once again, here's the latest in the search. Today marks two weeks since Lisa Irwin's mother says she lost, last saw her little girl. The family now has a lawyer representing them, but there are no arrests in the case. That lawyer is Joe Tacopina from New York City. Also today, investigators searched three locations. They tell us these were not based on a tip. KCTP5 will have...